there's a woman here tonight. You've been tormented in your sleep. Nightmares, and even as you're between the state of sleeping and being awake, there are these almost like visions that come of your loved ones being hurt, and there's just, there's just been a real torment at night, and all throughout the day you walk in this anxiety. Now let me tell you how it works with the Holy Spirit here. I don't play guessing games. I'm not saying maybe you're here. I'm saying I know that I know that I know that you're here. I don't understand all these things and how they work in the Spirit in God's timing, but there's something about responding when that word is spoken. Ma'am, where are you? It's time to be set free. Is that you, ma'am, from the back? Come. Have her stand right here, please. What's your name? Oliva Rose Morgan. And how long have you been dealing with these issues? Since last year, right before, say, middle of October. So when I'm in my dream and I'm sleeping, I'm there with either one of my children and there's a, I don't, want, I don't know how to pronounce, maybe a demonic, like a figure, like, a, like a shadowy figure. Yeah. I saw that. Lift your hands. Everyone pray in the Holy Ghost. It's the presence of the Holy Ghost. Father, in the name of Jesus, break. Break every bondage. That's the power of God. What are you sensing on you right now? Say again. Some, something lifting off of me, like heavy burdenness coming off of me. Raise her children for ministry as she's prayed in the name of Jesus. As I laid hands on you right now, I saw like light. You're going to go home and you're going to sleep better than you've ever slept before. You're set free. God bless you. It's simple. It's the simple work of the Holy Ghost. Keep praying in the Spirit. It helps more than you know. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't know who you are, but I see ministry in your future. Pardon? Well, come receive it here. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. The Lord told me to pull you out and to tell you there's ministry in your future. Closer than you think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep praying in the Spirit. There was a season where the fire of God was burning, and then a season where you felt like you had fallen away. And then now that you're back pursuing the things of God, the enemy uses that season of having fallen away to tell you that you're disqualified and that you've missed it. But God says, God says that His promises for your life will be fulfilled and that what the enemy has tried to use to torment you God is going to cause to be a tool in your hand for you're going to minister deliverance and freedom to those who need to be set free from bondage I see you laying hands on those with troubled minds I hear you saying, Lord, I don't just want to do it within the church setting. I want to go out into the streets and reach those who are hurting. And God says, because, because you have surrendered your life, because you have submitted your will to his, giving up dreams that others told you you were crazy for giving up for the things of God. God says, I shall put a double portion anointing on your life and you will watch as miracles manifest through your ministry. You've been looking for confirmation. There it is. And God's people said, Amen. Wow. Beautiful presence of the Lord here, isn't it? Beautiful presence of the Lord. I can feel, I could feel the pool of people on, on the Spirit. It's amazing. Like I can literally feel like a pool of the people 
And, and there's a woman here praying for her son. You could just receive. There's a woman here praying for your son. He grew up in the things of God, but right around age 16, he turned, and now he's running in a way that you don't want him to go, and you've been praying, and God says, your prayers are going to be met. There's another one here. There's a man with an injury on his shoulder that he received at work while lifting something. It's your left shoulder. God says he's going to heal you tonight, and you're going to testify. Thank you, Jesus. I give you the praise and the glory and the honor. They're coming quick, guys. They're coming quick. I need you to take a moment. Yes, it's wonderful, but take a moment, pray in the Holy Spirit, because it helps me stay grounded. I can't explain it any other way. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. There's someone in ministry, a gentleman. There's a man here tonight. You're in ministry, and there's just been this, this it's such a rough season that you asked God just this past week. You asked him if you were really called. And I know this is going to be a tough one to answer. This one may be like pulling teeth because it's a tough one. But you were asking God if you were really called, and there was this really heavy assault on your mind just this past week. And there was this voice in your head that wasn't God and it wasn't you. It was the enemy telling you that maybe it was time to close things down because you weren't seeing the fruit that you wanted to see. Sir, if you would just respond, there's a word God has for you. And I know this one's tough. And I know this one's going to be a little more like, okay, well, it's going to be him. That's you. And it's because of finances. Lift your hands. It's because of finances. Finances and the concern for your family's future. Don't you dare quit. God will judge you for every soul you should have won. Don't you quit. A prophet, a prophet, a prophet. He'll take care of it. He'll take care of it. God will take care of it. There's a couple here tonight. You've been trying to have children. And you cannot. You're here tonight. I know it. I know it, I know it, I know it. Where are you? You may say, well, maybe someone else is wanting that. Right over here? Is it someone over here? That's you? Are you, are you, are you here with your husband? And come, both of you. Everyone pray in the Holy Spirit. Both of you lift your hands. Whoa, pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pick her up, guys. Pat, pick her up. In the name of Jesus. Pray. I speak life in the name of Jesus. I speak the resurrection life of God. Help her up again. Bring him here. Join hands, both of you. Lord, give them a child and they'll give him right back to you. Let this child be raised for your kingdom, I pray. Let this child walk in a mighty anointing. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, we call that miracle down right now. And I speak in the name of Jesus by faith. Agree with me. Let's ask him. Let's ask him a bold prayer. Lord, we're asking that by this time next year, there would be a miracle. That by this time, come on, ask him, ask him, ask him. That by this time next year, receive it. We ask it in the name of Jesus. Just lift your hands and thank him, church. Say thank you, Jesus. Let them stay there and marinate. The couple I just prayed for, just stand in the aisle right there. Jess and I were told that IVF was our only option. And it was tough. To hear that, it was tough to hear that it was very likely not going to happen. After we went through that season, that initial heartache of the trial and the trouble, I remember I told my wife, I said, Jess, we've cried our tears. We felt our heartache. Now let's pivot and let's start to walk by faith. <laughs> Don't be afraid to get your hopes up. Don't be afraid. I would rather go the rest of my life believing for a miracle than to stop too soon and get to heaven and find out I should have received it. 
Only believe. No more fear. Perfect love casts out all fear. In fact, part of this, part of this I see is rooted in the stress and the fear. Part of this is rooted in the stress and the fear. It does things to our bodies we don't even realize. But go in faith now. We prayed a prayer. We asked the Lord that by this time next year, that was a prayer of faith is what that was. And that's what we're going to ask him. And if we see this miracle, I want you to come back and I want you to testify. Can we give the Lord a mighty hand of praise? Thank you for what he's already doing. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.